Hello students, a very fresh morning to all of you. In our previous class, we have learnt about all the problems related to Heron's formula. And today in this class, we will see the applications of Heron's formula in finding areas of quadrilaterals. What we will learn today? Applications of Heron's formula in finding areas of quadrilateral. Now see, we will learn about the applications of Heron's formula in finding areas of quadrilaterals. Just you take an example. Suppose if a farmer want to plot a land, but it is not sure that the land should be of triangular type. It may be of square type, rectangular type. You can say that it may be in what? Quadrilateral form. So in such type of case, what we have to do? We will divide that quadrilaterals in triangle by what? Drawing a diagonal or you can say that in simple language that it can be divided into two triangles. Is that okay? Now see, under this, the first question we will solve is just you see, Kamla has a triangular field with sides 240 meter, 200 meter, 360 meter, where she grew wheat. In other triangular field with sides 240 meter, 320 meter, 400 meter, adjacent to the previous field, she wanted to grow potatoes and onions. She divided the fields in two parts by joining the midpoint of the longest side to the opposite vertex and grew potatoes in one part and the onions in the other part. How much area has been used for wheat, potatoes and onions? Now see here that whatever the crops you want to grow, all the shapes are in what? Triangular form. So, it is not that much difficult to calculate the values. Let us calculate and how to calculate the area? Just you find the area of that three triangular plots and just you add them. Now you see, let ABC be the field where wheat is grown. Okay. Also, let ACD be the field which has been divided in two parts by joining C to the midpoint of AD. For area of triangles A, B, C we have. A is equals to 200 meter it is given, B 240 meter and C how much? 360 meter. So therefore S will be how much? A plus B plus C divided by 2. So 200 plus 240 plus 360 by 2 it equals to how much? 400. Now see. Here, just it is the shape of this one, the shape of the plot. Okay, so here that all the three shapes are in triangular form. So in the first case, we got how much? 400. So area of growing wheat S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. So 400, 400 minus 200. After that, 400 minus 240 and 400 minus 360. So after calculating, it will be how much? 400, then 400 minus 200, that is 200. And 400 minus 240, 160. And 400 minus 360 is how much? 40. So after calculating, 16,000 root 2 meter square. And in the question, it is given that we have to convert it into what? Hectare. And 1 hectare is equals to how much? 10,000 meter square. So th that is equals to how much? 2.26 hectares. Let us now calculate the area of triangle A. C and D. Okay, so now see to calculate the area of A, C and D, what we have to do again, we will use the previous previous formula. Here again S 240 plus 320 plus 400 divided by 2 is equals to how much? 480 meter. Just do the calculation properly. So again to, to find the area, what we have to do? We will write the formula. What formula? Area is equals to what? A, S minus S, S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. So we have written all the things 480, 480 minus 240, then 480 minus 320 and 480 minus how much? 400 meter square. So after calculating, we are getting 38,400 meter square. And again, we have converted it into what? Hectare. So it becomes how much? 3.484 hectares. Now you observe that. Uh, that the midpoint E of AD to C divides the triangle ACD in two parts equal in area. Is that okay? So therefore, area of growing potatoes is equals to area of growing area, uh, onions. So both are same. So 3.84 divided by 2 hectares is equals to how much? It becomes 1.92 hectares.
is that okay this question is looking only lengthy but nothing is there same formula same method we have to add we have to use and calculate is that okay now see the second question this is also very easy students of a school staged a rally for cleaning campaign they walk through the lens in two groups one group walk through the lens a b b c and c a while the other throw a c c d and d a then they clean the area and closed within their lens if a b is equals to 9 meter b c is equals to 40 meter c d is equals to 15 meter d a is equals to 28 meter and angle b is equals to 90 degree which group cleaned more area and by how much so just we draw the figure find the total area cleaned by the students neglecting the width of the lens so since a b is equals to how much 9 meter b c is equals to how much 40 meter and angle b 90 degree so here we can find a c hypotenuse square is equals to what perpendicular square plus base square so just we calculate this by calculating a c square is equals to 9 square plus 40 square so a c is equals to root under 9 square plus 40 square so this becomes how much root under 1681 and the square root of 1681 is how much 41 meter so area of the first group has to clean the area of triangle abc which is right angle and we know that area of triangle abc is equals to what half into base into height so it becomes 140 into 9 1 by 2 into 40 into 9 is equals to how much 180 meter square now see here again the second group has to clean the area of triangle ACD which is scalen so if it is scalen we will use the formula of what herons so let us use the formula of herons s is equals to 41 plus 15 plus 28 that is 42 meter and area of triangle acd root under s s minus a so s is how much 42 s minus b and s minus c we have written 42 root under 42 42 minus 41 42 minus 15 and 42 minus 28 so after calculation we got 42 into 1 into 27 into 14 and it becomes how much 126 meter square so first group cleaned 180 meter square which is 180 minus 126 that is 54 meter square more than the area cleaned by the second group so total area cleaned by all students what we have to do i told you that we have to add both the area of triangles so 180 plus 126 is equals to how much 306 meter square similarly you try to solve example 6 of your ncrt test book sanya has a piece of land which is in the shape of a rhombus is that okay she wants her one daughter and one son to work on the land and produce different crops she divided the land in two equal parts if the perimeter of the land is 400 meter and one of the diagonals is 160 meter how much area each of them will get for their crops again you divided this into two triangles and after adding subtracting whatever they ask just you add and you will be able to find the answer. So this much for this class and in the next class we will see the next question. Till then have a good day.